Okay, welcome back to the channel. This is, uh, I believe, antenna review number four. I believe this is a clone of the Ed Fong micro whip antenna, which is encapsulated in this rugged PVC BNC connector. Mondo footage of uh, BNC double-ended cable. Uh, A lot of footage of uh, regular micro, probably high loss cable. I don't even know which model or which uh, it is. The only thing that this is for uh, a splitter for running four different dongles uh, off my uh, software. Uh, the only thing that didn't come with this is a 12 volt power supply, center feed. Um, so that's kind of bizarre, it plugs in there. And for this to work, you do need to have a 12 volt power supply. It just so happens I have about 900 of them. Uh, just have to make sure that it's a center positive. And that's that. That's the, uh, that's what you get when you order uh, a Chinese clone of a whip active antenna 10 kilohertz to 30 megahertz um, and I believe like I said I believe this is a knockoff for the Ed Fong uh, somebody correct me in the comments below I believe that's what it is and it's pretty simple you know it, pretty basic you hook it to your uh, and it does need a ground they recommend that you run a uh, ground cable around this box and uh, you know you've got this beefy uh, but like beefy the big connector what is it that what's that the SL 359 or whatever uh, male connector into super micro thin you can call that high loss uh, coax uh, into hit this and then you're going to have to neck it down to a SMA connector to get it into your uh, SDR software and again I believe you can transmit with this um, I'm not exactly sure because there's absolutely no documentation that comes with these whatsoever um, I believe it's you can transmit them you know on the proper frequency if you can tune it in and um, yeah, there's that. So, um, pretty basic. You know, don't have to be a rocket scientist to connect the BNC connector from here to here. Cable, regular coax to here. Okay, you plug your power supply in, you run a ground line, you know, to ground, despite its misleading name, ground to ground or ground, 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 wait a minute, ground, so yeah, ground, then connect that to the, you know, with your beans and connect to this, hang this up in the air as high as you can, plug it in, power it on, and start flipping that dial. Start seeing what you can hear. Um, I obviously have uh, played with it. Um, never. Oh, look, factory sealed. I think I opened the package and was like, wow. Okay, put it away. So this one is probably going to be one that I bring in and run off of uh, setup somewhere. And because it looks like it's probably a, a, either that or this with that dual sided loop uh, antenna or possibly this little bitty um, yeah that thing um, probably give me a lot better than this little collapsible uh, piece of crap 
antennas that comes with the uh, SDR dongles. You know, I, I get it. You know, don't don't be hating. Cheap uh, or lower cost than a full size radio, and you're getting all the frequency bands and uh, you know all that stuff. I get it. You know, but you'd think that it's sticking a little better radio or antenna than those little bitty that big around suction cups antennas that tall to uh, you know maybe be able to enjoy it just a little bit um, I think I picked the other day I think I picked up um, either my refrigerator or um, quite possibly the microwave beyond that yeah not so much so um, but you've seen the um, studio um, so it's small wonder that I get nothing but static with those little big antennas. So hopefully running this with a ground, remember, ground wire, uh, I can possibly kind of get rid of some of that interference. And, you know, with this massive coax here and the possible shielding loss, so, again, for listening, this is a, uh, we're simply enjoying the pleasure of listening to other buddy, uh, everybody else yakking about what kind of badass radio they've got. So, that's going to be the end of that one. Um, and again, hang it up in the air as high as possible and um, plug it all in and snap that sucker on. I'm, I'm kind of wondering... Oh, I guess you don't have to pick what antenna you've got. You just have to designate the SDR that you're running. I don't. So that should be, uh, you know, as easy as falling down. You know, just keep moving your feet, but don't go forward. Um, or keep going forward and don't move your feet. Um, yeah. So that's that. Um... And another video will probably flip between a couple of these and see which ones are the best, uh, which gives a little bit better reception, a little bit more listening pleasure. Speaking of listening pleasure, if any of this has been any of help to you at all, um, I think this was like, I think I paid 25 bucks for it or something like this for this whole setup. Not this, but this. Oh, the reason that's in there is because it was chintzy and this uh, piece broke off and I had to JB weld it on so it would go on the ultra chintzy mini tripod that they send with them. So that's why it's in this bag. So that's that. If you have any comments or questions about it or you'd like to see when I do fire these things up, uh, drop me a note and uh, I'd yeah, no problem. Take you along for the ride. Step inside. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And do me a favor if any of this was even remotely interesting. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And um, you have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.